holidays. We get to decorate homes all year round, but decorating for Christmas is my very favorite. It's a little crazy, um, but it's a tradition in our house and we love it. When you're decorating a tabletop, you usually keep things really simple on the daily basis, but for the holidays, you can jam pack it with a lot more, which is really fun. What we did here is we took these trees and we did lots of them, but we made sure to incorporate different levels and keep the color palette fairly neutral, um, and I really love the effect that it has. One fun thing we like to do is swap out our family photos and put them in holiday frames. This one's really cute because it has this gold foil geometric pattern on it and it works great for holidays and it works great all year round, which is nice. When you're decorating a tabletop surface like this, it's nice to incorporate a few um, basic decor items like lamps, trays, because they anchor the space and then you can fill in with all of the fun holiday stuff. This faux garland is my very favorite faux garland because it has this wild mix of leaves and pine needles and little berries through it and it looks really natural. We're going to put it up the banister today. So once we've attached the garland to the mantle, I like to fluff it out so it looks nice and full. And then um, I'll tie a silk ribbon on and I change the color every single year. And this year I used flush pink. When styling your mantle for the holidays, I like to start with a few things that aren't overly holiday. Here we have these vintage green glass bottles that I love, they're frosted. And then we have these brass boxes and this blue and white jar here. All could be used year round. Now it's time to add the fun stuff. We have this awesome glittery tree that I love and it's great for adding height as well. And then we incorporated these beautiful mercury glass ornaments and just kind of scattered them about which looks playful and still sophisticated. And then this is a cute idea that I like to do and that is add an ornament on top of the stocking and it just keeps things fun. Now let's talk about this beautiful berry wreath that we have layered over the mirror. The wreath is actually a garland and here we wrapped it around like this and turned it into a wreath. They're sold as a set of two and another great option is to wire them together. It comes with a wire so it's extra full and then you can drape it over the mantle. I love the holidays and one of my favorite things is eating good meals with the family. I love to eat. He loves to eat. Uh -huh. um, and I love to decorate the kitchen. You don't have to overhaul all the decorating. There's a few little tweaks that you can do to make it feel special. These wood trays are great and super versatile and we just added a pomegranates for a little red. You don't have to be kitschy to get a holiday vibe. You can just think about the color palette. So here we used this soap that has a green glass bottle, bowls, and a dish towel, and the color palette speaks for itself. Our favorite tradition is decorating the tree together and now that we have two littles, we keep the breakables up top and the non-breakables on the bottom. We put the lights on and then we add all of the pretty decor and set the foundation, kind of the color palette. And then I add in the personal ornaments that we've collected over the years and then the star comes last. Every year I like to change up the ribbon on the tree and this year I'm using fabric torn into strips and it will add a little color and pattern. Once I put the ribbon all over the tree I like to add the ornaments that set the color palette. This year I'm really into these jewel tones like emerald green and these peacock blues and plums and I'm going to put those all over the tree. Next I'm adding in the metallic ornaments. Um, they help break up some of the color and add a little shine. And I love these because this has like a little mirrored element to it, mercury glass and a geom gold geometric. And it's a mix of modern and traditional. Every year we get a few new ornaments to add to our collection and once we have the color palette all established, I like to add those in and then we do little felt ornaments for the kids at the bottom of the tree. I 
Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Love the McGee's. <laughs>